Hi everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss how to select date from date picker in Selenium. Let us understand with an example. This is a ticket booking web application. And you can see here we need to provide the source place and going to is a destination place. But in this video, we, we, our focus will be on date of journey. So if I click here, you can see a date picker here, right? So this is called date picker where you can select a date from the displayed months here, right? So you can see April and May here. And if I click on next, you can see June as well, right? So this web application allows uh, prior ticket booking of two months, right? Now we wanted to select a given date, say for example, April 28, right? So I can choose 28 here as this is April 2022 and this is 28 here. I can just click on this 28 so that that gets displayed in the date of journey, right? So this is what we wanted to automate now. So how do we do that? Let's actually start it with uh, looking at the web elements behind that, right? So I just, we just need to click on this first and this we need to inspect the web elements. So let's inspect this date picker now. So click here, inspect. And while inspecting, see, if I inspect this right, slowly go up and select this due. So this is the due, which is actually covering the whole date picker, right? And we are interested to actually search for the selected date within the month, right? So say, for example, if it is April, just see the down due, right? So if you highlight this, you can see the April whole month got selected, right? Or the left month, you can see here the due class name also, it's called group first, right? Okay. And if you see the uh, below due, right? Below due tag, you can see group last due class name. And it is actually the right side month, which is May here in this case, right? So these are the two dues representing the two months. Now let's expand the first due and uh, look into the web elements. So if I click expand this due within the left side month or group first, the class name is called group first here. So if you see here, there is another due and table here. So the first due is representing the header, header or the month. Header here is representing the month and year. So if you, you can see here the highlighted part when I hover over on this uh, due. So the April and 2022 month and year are getting highlighted. And if I hover on the table, the table is getting highlighted. Table consists of weeks, name of the week, and also the dates here, according to the weeks, right? So now what we wanted to do, how do we actually automate this? Let's say, for example, a given date has to be selected. Say, for example, if April 24th, then how do we, we actually automate this is, how do we find that April 24th within this uh, date picker is, first, we'll uh, match this month and year. So how to match this month and year. You can see here within this due. So if you expand, this is highlighting the header April and 2022, that is month and year. So if you expand here, there's an anchor tag here. So which actually is representing the previous arrow. So this is disabled as we can't uh, book a ticket for the past, past duration, right? Past time, right? So you can see another due here, which is actually representing the title. Expand this and you see two spans here, right? April, that is month and 2022 is a year, right? So this is what we are interested to because when we extract this month and year, then we can compare this with the expected value. Say for example, April 24 is what we wanted to select. Then what we do, we first select, for, first we extract this month and year. If it, this is matching, then we go to the date. Within this month, we are going to select the table. So table, right? Within that table, if you expand, we have T head, T body, table body, and within the table body, you see TR. Each TR is representing one table row. So this we have seen in the last video when we are uh, handling the web tables, right? So you can actually uh, go and watch that video if you wanted to actually uh, look into how we automate the web table, right? So you see table, T body, and within T body, you can see TRs here, each TR representing one table row. That is one week here in our case, right? and expand any of the T row, TR table row. So you can see it has again TDs, each TD representing one date in it, right? And how we are going to automate now is, so first we'll actually 
extract the month and year, right? That we have seen. How do we extract the month and year? year? So within this due, we have, see, there, there are two spans. We are going to extract this and compare if month and year are according to our expectation. Then we go to navigate to the table and then read all these TDs within all the tiers and get the text out of it. So you can expand TD, you see the date here. So we get the text from all the TDs and compare that with the expected date. So if it is equal, then we are going to just click on that web element or web, uh, the date, the selected date, right? That's how we are going to automate now. So the first thing, what we are going to do is, first we wanted to click on this date of journey, right? So let's start automating it now. So I already created a class here. You can see date picker demo is my class and driver is an object, which is a static, uh, which I declared at the class level. And you can see my main method. So where I have set the Chrome driver to the Chrome executable and instantiated the web driver object to the Chrome driver instance so that uh, a Chrome browser window gets launched and that gets maximized, right? Now we'll navigate to the web application, this web application, and then we wanted to click on the date of journey. So let's click on that by dot xpath. I'm going to use xpath. Right click copy xpath. And we, we first need to click on that. Only then we'll get the date picker as a pop-up. All right, so we got the pop-up or the date picker now. Now what we wanted to do, we wanted to, first let's uh, uh, actually have the selected date. So we wanted the expected date, right? So let's have this as some um, to date. Let's choose April for now, okay? April is the month we wanted to select and selected year we wanted to select 2022, okay? This is, this is the date we wanted to select and we are going to start automating now. We already clicked on this and we got this pop-up. Now we wanted to extract this month and year and compare that if it that is equal to what we wanted to select, right? So for that, how do we extract month and year? As discussed earlier, so click here, you see two spans here, right? So click on this title, go to selector sub. Okay, selector sub option is not here. Just refresh this page once. Yeah, you can see the selector sub option now, right? So just click on this, take the path, and you can see here, right? So this is representing the whole header, month and year together, right? But what we wanted to have, we wanted to extract month and year. So if you expand this, you have two spans here. So what we are going to do here is span, right? Span here. And you see two elements matching. You can clearly see hi the highlighted part here. Orange highlighted part is representing the month and blue highlighted part is representing the year, right? And how do we differentiate? Span one is representing month. So you need to look at here, right? April is highlighted and one element matching. That's how we are going to extract the month and how we are going to get here. Span two, see one element matching. Span two actually is giving the year. So this is how we are going to extract month and year, right? So let's extract month first. This is the XPath. So we need to find the element using XPath. This is a web element, right? So web element and let's call this as month. And what does it say? It, it's a left month, right? Left or we can just say this as first. So it is called as first and last, right? So you can see here, this div is representing first and this div, the second month or the right side month is called as group last. So I'm just representing it for now as month first. All right, so we wanted to extract the text from it, right? So what we'll do is find element and also let's extract the text from it. This is actually giving us the text, so not the web element. We are extracting text from it. So this is the month. So in the same way, we wanted to get the year as well. So driver.find element, again, we'll use XPath. 
and how do we get year here so if you observe just replace one with two we are going to extract the year here copy this x path here and we wanted to extract the text from it this is a web element and we wanted to extract text from that and store that in here this again first left side month right so which is called as first year so i'm giving it as a name as year first right so now we have month and year now what we can do we can compare this month month dot is this month equal to selected month and year whatever we extracted from the web web page right so is that equal to what i wanted to select that is selected year so if this is true then what we wanted to do we wanted to go for date and select the date which is represented with sel select date here right so how do we do that let's see so we wanted to actually inspect the table first so it, this all these dates are represented using the table you can see it here clearly right so right click inspect this is the table right now let us go to selector sub this is the table and see within the table we have t head which is header which is representing the week names here which we are least interested as of now so we directly go to the t body where we wanted to select the dates right so t body has t rows each tr is representing one table row here one week right so t body within the table we wanted to select t body and see the table got selected and within t body we have trs see all the rows got highlighted and within the tr we wanted to have tds see each cell td is one table data one cell data right so all the cells got highlighted now so this is what we wanted to get as a list of web elements right now let's copy this or what we can do is we can even minimize this path right so all this t body and tr we don't have any other t bodies and tr so we can just represent it as a relative path so just give it two slashes still that will be the same see we have 35 elements matching all these are representing one date here let's copy this x path and what we are going to do driver dot these are 35 elements so we have to use find elements this time all right so now we have the 35 elements and let's capture this this actually should return list of web elements right so list of web element and what are these these are dates now we have many dates we wanted to select one date the expected date this one so how do we do that for web, each web element which we call it as date from all dates we are going to verify if date dot get text is equal to the selected date if it is so then i wanted to click on the date and we don't want it to be in the loop or uh, we just exit the method and the program right so i am writing written here so if you see if month and year equals then we enter into the loop and we are interested to get all the dates and then what did we do here we compared each date whether it is equal to the selected date if it is so then we actually go and click that date so date representing the web element right then we are coming out of the program right so this is one if loop now let us actually execute this code and verify it has to select 28th april right okay let's verify yes it selects 28th april you can clearly see here right all right now what if i wanted to select a date in may i'll just modify the month here and if i want 
you can modify the date as well so how do we do that let's see so it is not the left side uh, month now right so let's go back you can see this due group first so this is not the case right so we will not find this so as it is uh, you see 19th may so you see month and year so month will not be equal here as uh, you know as is if we execute month here is april it will extract april and april is compared with the selected month may and this fails so as this is logical and and this condition becomes false and it exits the program it can't actually select this date so how do we select that so may is displayed on the right side so how how is that uh, represented in the html is you can see here that is represented with a different div so both are differentiated with a class name here the first one or the left side one is called group first and the right side one is called group last you can see here clearly right so the selected part group last right now we wanted to look into this uh, group last uh, or the next right side month as well so what we'll do we'll actually start from the beginning like we need to again extract this month and year so how do we do that we already have this code written but let's see what, what actually differs within these two so you can see here group last and this is the div which is representing the header title span see this is the same as earlier right so what we can do is we can just only thing is it is group last right so you can see here this is only group last that's the only difference here date picker title and within this i i need to find the span see span one is highlighting me and span two will represent uh, represent the or indicate the year right so again the same take this if loop ends here so if this is not true then we need to find out the next month for that we need to extract the month and year right month this is called last don't confuse with the names you can have it uh, any any name right left like that i am just using the whatever uh, class names provided here right is the class and what do we wanted to extract here we wanted to extract the text and in the same way we are going to get the year as well year last this will be only span change right span 2 this will be span 2 this will extract the year and we wanted to get the text out of it yeah now now that we have month and year we will go for the comparison and from here i am going to copy the same code here as that will be the same the comparison will be the same right so i am just going to copy this loop and modify this month first with month last month first is representing the left side month that is april in our case and month last is representing the right side month that is may in our case right so if this is equal then again all dates and how do we choose the all dates so if you observe we need to modify the x path this x path actually is representing all dates on the left side month so we wanted the right side month date so let's inspect that now table and within the table we wanted the t body this is the right side month right and we are interested in the t body
okay it might be pseudo element comment inside the iframe all right you just need to you know uh, close this browser tools and open it again so that uh, the page gets refresh and you can see here t body it highlights the right side month now now within tr t body we want tr which represents all the rows and within that we were interested to select the tds right so all the dates within the right side uh, month and we can represent this in short with the relative path as well just replace uh, the entire thing with two forward slash still there are 42 elements matching each representing one date now let's take this and go back and replace this part with the last group lash so if you observe this only change earlier it used to be first right now we have all the dates on the right side uh, month and this code will not change for all the dates we are going to take each web element as a date get text and try to uh, compare that with the expected date if it is so then we are going to click it fine and then we'll return we'll return we'll exit the program right now let us execute this code and verify yes see it selects 19th may right and you don't have any errors so program got executed successfully right now how about if it is june and if it is june 2nd right it is going to fail definitely it will fail as this will not be you know matches with either uh, the selected month first month first is representing april here and month last is representing may here so it will definitely fail fail in the sense it will not select the uh, expected date definitely if you want to, you can actually verify this uh, by executing the code again. See, it stops there. It didn't find the actual uh, date we wanted to select. We won't get error, but you know, this if loop fails, so it comes out and tries for the right side month. Even this if fails, so it just exits the program, right? But we wanted to select june 2nd so how are you going to do that if this if fails we are going to select the right side month and even if this if also fails then we wanted to go to the next page or next month by clicking on this next arrow so let's do that now let's inspect this next arrow right okay this this one right so copy or uh, you can take the x path as well x path next arrow and once you click on next arrow if you observe so the may month which was uh, on the right earlier it it is uh, it is on the left and june is on the right so whenever it is on the right we have to use this one this group right group last you can actually inspect and verify as well so this is called again group last see group last so we can use the same code now we can actually repeat this the same code here and just modify the uh, names of this uh, variables or we can even keep the same we can use the same variable names as well right if it is equal it is going to select it only thing is we need to click on the next arrow button so that it goes and uh, searches for the in the next month right all right Now let's execute the code. Now you can clearly see it's such as in the April and May and it should click on, okay. 
I think, okay, we didn't use the click method here. We need to click on the arrow, met, arrow next arrow, right? That's the reason uh, it stopped there. Now let us execute again. And this time you can see, it should click on the date of journey. It searches for the two months. Yeah, it is not, uh, it was not uh, actually matched. So it actually clicked on the next arrow and you know, it selected the expected date. You can see June, 6, June 2nd, right? So this is how we can automate. But if you observe the code right here, it is redundant. Whenever you're writing the code, this is fine. First, you can actually write the solution. Then you need to try for optimizing the code and remove the redundant code and put it in a method and uh, have it uh, parameterized uh, with the varying values, right? So now let's do that. Let's actually uh, optimize the code or you know uh, put the redundant code into a method. So this is the redundant code, right? So let's take this first. And what we'll do is select date. I'm going to create a method called select date, right? And create this method. which will return Boolean value. So we are done with writing the code, but we are trying to optimize the code, right? And how do we actually optimize? So if you observe all the code, right? So the code is same for either uh, to select the left side uh, month date or right side month date, but it only differs in some places. See, it's called right, right corner. And in some places it's called, uh, left right so let me see it is left left month is called left right side month is called right corner uh, corner right right and group is first year and group is last year for the right side one so only this has to be parameterized now, now let's do that this we don't even need to call that as month first and year first we'll parameterize two things here we'll call side and group This will be month. This will be month and this will be year. And how do we do that is selected date, right? So what do we pass it? So left and right, sorry, left and what's the group? Group is either first, either first or it will be last, right? So let's have this as a created as a constant. So let me create a constant here. Yeah, it can be static final string left. It's called left. And in the same way, I'll, I'm going to create right as well for the right side month. And then we'll create the groups as well. So let's create groups. First is one group. There are two groups, first and last. This is last. Okay. Now we'll parameterize it. See, select date left first, which actually looks for the date in the left side uh, month, right? Select month, selected year. Okay, these are not visible as we declared it in within here, right? So let's actually take this and put it here within the class level, right? And also we'll make this as static or else that will not be visible to this methods, right? Let's also make this a static. Now see, there are no errors now. Okay, we have written, we don't need to, uh, Okay, we can return true here. If it is found, we are going to return as we wanted to return Boolean here, right? 
what's your error add return statement okay if it is not found we need to return false here right so once this is not matched we will return false this is the method right now the code is done for the left side uh, uh, we moved the left side code and put it into a method right now we don't need this uh, right side as well or the group name last right so what we can do is we can move this we can actually remove this and say select it right comma last if it is not found we'll click on this and then again we'll call call the same code right so what we can do is we can remove this code and once we click on the left uh, next arrow we'll again call this method select date right last right now go to this method we need to parameterize this so we this we captured in the parameter side and group so let's go here you can see left here right so this has to this is hard coded earlier so what we'll do now is we'll parameterize it this is no more left this is side same is the case here side is the parameter where we will get either left or right according to that so this will month and year will be selected and one more thing we need to parameter here is group group can be either first or last here we have hard coded it but we are going to remove this and add it as group now look here so side and group we are sending here right left first so side will be having left so this will be replaced with left side will be replaced with left and group will be replaced with first and that's how the method will be executed and it is returning boolean right so what we'll do is we'll create a boolean variable found equal to false and what we'll do is we'll capture that here and when do we call the when do we search uh, the date in the next month only if it is not found if it is not found we are going to search for the right side month and and again capture the result so if it is still not found then what to do again if it is still not found we need to click on the next arrow to go to the next page and then try finding the date within the that month right that's it so we already had the code written but just we just removed the written end code and put it into a block or a new method now let us execute let us execute for the same input june oh we still have some errors okay we didn't start this with a double quote okay now you can see yes go back no errors right so the optimized code or the redundant code has been removed and put it into a method so this is how we should always think like uh, once we can uh, we can write for a solution and once we get the solution we need to look into our code and remove the redundant code and put it into a block or a method and optimize the code right so it looks simple now you can see here if uh, someone looks into the code it is very clear we are going navigating into this website we are clicking on some element called date picker and see trying to select the date with some parameters passed here and if it is found then uh, if it is not found then we go here and try for next uh, with some some other parameters if it is still not found then we are uh, doing next year and then we are trying to find in the next page or the next month then exit so if it is found here itself then it will not actually enter into this conditions these loops will be false right so it looks neat and clear also now and if you someone wants to uh, look into what's present in the selected so you can go to the selected and clearly see here month and year month and year are extracted from the uh, table 
then this month and the year are compared with the expected uh, input. And if it is equal, then we are going to extract all date from that particular month and look for the expected date here. And if it matches, we are going to click on this, right? So the code now looks clear and neat, right? Okay, so this is how we should be automating a date picker. And let me actually show you, you know, uh, another examples in the date pickers. You can see this is a simple date picker. You see a drop down here, right? To select the month. So we already seen how to handle the drop down. So if you haven't watched that, you can actually watch the, uh, you know, my video on how to handle the drop down. So if you can watch, if you watch that video, you'll come to know how to actually handle this drop downs, how to select any month. So the input will be anyway month, right? Month and year. So you will select month and here using the drop downs, and the date can be selected. So any this will be anyway a table, right? You can actually verify it by inspecting. This will anyway be table, and each one will be represented with one TD, right? So you can actually get all these uh, TDs, table data as a list of elements, and you can proceed like however uh, whatever we have done right now, uh, just now, right? and then select the date. So this is the easiest date picker, but we have chosen this as, uh, th this is a bit difficult than that, right? So like this, uh, unlike other web elements, right, in Selenium, so it is different in that sense, like it, it is not a fixed one. So uh, date pickers can be implemented in a different uh, uh, format or different frameworks in the UI. And so that's, that's how we need to think and uh, the logic changes for each date picker, right? So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching.